check out this two camera DVR system all built into this rear view mirror. As a five inch LCD monitor, view all the video recordings that you had recorded throughout the day. And when you put your car in reverse, you can see the backup cam right here on your rear view mirror. Anytime you wanna turn off the screen, you just tap the power button and you can utilize the whole rear view mirror. And the best part is that it records the front of your car and the back of your car at the same time. And even when the car is turned off, it would still record around your car because it has a rechargeable built-in battery. You'll be, you'll be at the dinner table eating dinner. No phone or nothing. All of a sudden, he starts laughing hysterically at the dinner table. Well, that's, why are you laughing, Justin? Because you called Dominic a jack. You'll be, you'll be at the dinner table eating dinner. No phone or nothing. All of a sudden, he starts laughing hysterically at the dinner table. Well, that's, why are you laughing, Justin? Because you called Dominic a jack. This is a really great device if you have a child that's starting to drive and you want to view their driving habits. Built into the rear view mirror, it has a 5 inch LCD screen. It has a G sensor so it can detect if your car has been hit and it'll start recording. It has a wide angle viewing lens for your front and back camera. A cycle recording which when your SD card is full, it actually will record over the old content. It has instant replay, so the only thing you have to do is hit a button and you can view all your recordings. And the camera records in HD. You do have to buy the SD card separately. I bought a Samsung 32 gig micro SD card. That'll give me a, roughly around two weeks worth of recording before it actually records over the old content. So let's go ahead and open it up and show you how to install it. So if you're interested in any of these items, the SD card or the rear view mirror, Go ahead and click on the link in the video description below. And before you install it, you want to test it. All right, so this is the item right here. And it basically goes over your existing mirror, just like that. It is wider and bigger than your old mirror. My sun visor does not get in the way over here. It does hit it on the upper left-hand corner, but it looks like I can go all the way up if I adjust it. But it does, it does tap into it right here but it should be okay. So here's the camera, the wide view angle lens camera right here. And it has rubber pads to protect your existing mirror. And here's the clips. All right, let's go ahead and remove this. Let's go ahead and remove the plastic off the camera lens. And here's the speaker right here. Here's the micro SD card input. There's your backup camera AV input. And here's the USB input that powers on your mirror. Here's the reset pinhole. If you have any kind of software errors, go ahead and press that reset pinhole and it should cure that problem. Here's the buttons on the bottom, all right here. So this is the microphone. So it does record audio. This is the OK button right here. This is the menu button, the power button, and navigation up and navigation down. All right, so here's the power adapter. And here's the rubber bands that it comes with. And to attach it, only thing you have to do is put on this mounting rubber band right here and put on this one as well. And then it goes right in the back like this and you stretch it around just like that. And it's that easy to install. Here's the power adapter right here. And this is the plugs into the mirror, this end. Uh, and powers on using a cigarette lighter port. Comes with instructions and a microfiber cloth. And it comes with the screws and the padding. All right, so let's go ahead and put the SD card in. And that goes in right here. Oh, the other way. All right, so this one, you wanna plug in the backup camera right here. You want to plug in the power right here. These covers just pop right off. All right, so on the clip, I made a little space for the wires.
And right, now for the camera cable, you want to run it now across this way and then down the seam near the door floor. all these clips off to get to the wiring and then this should pop off too. And you can run the cable right here. All right, so this is the backup camera right here. I got it installed and I screwed in right into underneath above my license plate. And the hole, I drilled a hole using a metal drill bit and I ran the wire straight into there. Now I did have to bend it down a little bit like that and then twist the camera and made sure, because if you twist it all the way, it'll be upside down. So I had to twist it so it was, it was right side up. And right there is perfect, actually. So, when my wife puts our car in reverse, this camera will kick on and she can see everything behind her. Once you find the reverse lights, which are right here, and you find the colors, this is white and black, and yellow and black. All right, so the yellow and black is the positive on the reverse light, and the white and black is the negative on the reverse light. Power cable is the red and black right here. So I take my red line, which is the positive line, and I connect that to the yellow, and I connect the black camera negative wire to the white and black. So when I put the car in reverse, the reverse camera will kick on. Let's, just, let's go ahead and try it and see if it works. I put the car in reverse. One, it takes one second. So this is for the rear view mirror. All right, so let's take a look at the mirror, rear view mirror. I just installed it. And let's go ahead and turn it on. Well, it was on, the display was just off. See how it's recording right now? It records motion and it also records if there's any kind of like vibration. It has a G sensor in there, which is good. So if you're parked in a parking lot and someone hits your car, it should record that. So as you can see, it's recording. So if you don't wanna see that little display and it's annoying to have that displayed while you're trying to utilize the rear view mirror, you can just turn off the display and it still records. So now you can see your rear view mirror and see behind you just fine. And you can see right here, it didn't interrupt the recording. So it was still recording. So that's how you turn off the display by tapping the power on and off. It turns on and off the display. And if you wanna really turn off the whole system, you have to hold it down and that's how you turn it off. All right, so right here is the recording icon. Right here, the microphone is turned on. Uh, here's your micro SD card and that tells you that it is there's one inside the rear view mirror So that's good and this blinking Battery light right here indicates that it's right now charging the battery in the rear view mirror And this is the time this is the backup camera and this is the dash cam Let's go ahead and stop the recording. Let's hit the menu button 
and I hit down. By hitting down arrow, it turns off and on the microphone. All right, so let's go ahead and hit menu again. And these are all my recordings. All right, let's hit OK. And it'll start to play. If you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone interested in this rear view mirror, go ahead and click on the link in the video description below. If you know anyone that may be interested in this video, go ahead and click on the share button below and share it to them. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this one. Thanks for watching.